C'est de tout cela que nous allons débattre aujourd'hui avec un panel que vous avez devant vous. Avant de passer la parole à tous ceux qui vous entourent, Madame la Présidente, à vous. این کنفرانس در حالی برگزار می شود که یک خطر مبرم اشرف را تهدید می کند شمار کسیری زرهی و خودروی نظامی اماکن مسکونی را در تیررس سلاحهای خود قرار دادند is the attack on 8 April could have been and should have been prevented. The second is that this attack was clearly deliberate, calculated, and authorized by the government of Iraq. But I am a human being, and as a human being, I'm outraged by what I have seen in Camp Ashraf. How come that I didn't know about Ashraf until a few months ago when a few of your friends and leaders called me and spoke to me? Now, terrible, shocking, emotional tape that is to me as a soldier. Those are war crimes. Those are war crimes. They must be reported. The International Criminal Court must take action and hold accountable under law those who ordered it and committed it. How can, how can governments, strong governments, serious governments, uh, put a label on a movement that has fought for freedom, that had brought information for peace in the world, que ce à quoi nous avons assisté mérite un seul et unique qualificatif, celui de crime contre l'humanité. Derrière les, les victimes et les cadavres qui se sont entassés dans le camp d'Ashraf... Le dreadful crime in April in Ashram, committed at the order of Al-Maliki, the Iraq Prime Minister, and at the behest of the Iran machine, shattered us all. 